consider this gate question which is asked in programming and data structures consider consider the following c program consider the following c program So this is the C program. And this is the main function. And inside main function, float sum is equal to 0.0. .0 comma j is equal to 1.0 i is equal to 2.0 while i divided by j greater than 0 0.0625 j is equal to j plus j sum is equal to sum plus i divided by j printf percentage f sum Okay, and uh, later this is return zero. Close the main function. Okay, so this is the program, right? Okay, the number of times the variable sum. the number of times the variable sum will be printed sum will be printed comma when the program when the program is executed when the program is executed is dash program is executed is dash okay so if you consider this uh, program they are asking you to how many times variable sum will be printed. Okay. Printing the variable value sum. How many times it will be printed. It means basically how many times this loop will be executed. It means the block of statements inside the loop will be executed. So that is defined as how many times the sum will be printed. Or I can say how many times this conditional expression will be evaluated to true. Okay. So how many times this condition becomes true this conditional expression is true okay so this will give you the answer for how many times this uh, printf statement will be executed okay so let's do this uh, first of all uh, check here uh, Look at the conditional expression very first time. Okay. 
I divided by J greater than 0 0.0625. Okay, what is I value? I value is 2.0 divided by 1.0 greater than 0 0.0625. Okay, so this condition is true or false? Okay, this condition is true. This is very first time. And by second time, if you observe J value gets doubled. Okay, so again, if you look at the second time, 2.0 divided by 1.0 plus 1.0, which is again 2.0, greater than 0 0.0625. Again, this conditional expression will be evaluated to true. Now, for the third time, if you observe J value gets doubled, so it means this is going to be 2.0 divided by 2.0 plus 2.0, which is 4.0, greater than 0 0.0625 okay so again this conditional expression is true okay now if you look look at the fourth iteration okay again the j value will be doubled so this will be 2.0 divided by 4.0 plus 4.0 which is nothing but 8.0 greater than 0 0.0625 okay again this is basically 1 by 4 uh, Okay, 0 0.25, which is greater than 0 0.0625. Okay. And now for the fifth time, you can observe uh, J value is doubled again. So then this conditional expression will become 2.0 divided by 8.0 plus 8.0, which is 16.0. And this is greater than 0 0.0625. Okay. Again, this condition will be evaluated to true. Okay, so why because uh, this is going to be 1 by 8, okay, 0 0.125 like that, okay. Now for the next time, okay, so this condition will be what, uh, 2.0 divided by 16.0 plus 16.0 which is 32.0, okay, greater than 0 0.0625, okay. So this is 1 by 16, this is nothing but uh, obviously uh, 0 0.0625 where this conditional expression will become false. So that's why how many times overall this conditional expression is going to be true. Totally 5 times this conditional expression is evaluated to true. So the answer will be 5. So the program is executed for 5 times. Okay.